Alright, so I'm checking out your shot here, right? So you got all this guy going on, throwing and going over there. So my first impression was A, it's a really wide framing in terms of just your your resolution. Let's put it this way, right? So this feels fairly widescreen, almost anamorphic. I think you could probably I know he has to walk a lot, but you know, I think if you would frame it like this, but I don't know what the rest of your shots are. So imagine if you have a TV like this, and then you show this shot, it might look like this on people's screens, right? And then you got everything with the, with the black boxes there. And then suddenly your next shot is wider here, and then suddenly you got a next shot that's wide. That would be kind of neat to keep it very consistent. Not that it's, you know, a crazy deal that you won't get hired because of that, but it just feels fairly, fairly wide. And the, the problem with that type of resolution here is that, um, well, aspect ratio, let's put it this way, um, is that your guy comes in and then stops here. And you even have a moment where um, the spear gets out of frame here and he kind of stays put and it feels extremely, extremely uh, left heavy, right? So if I look at this, you know, you could you could take this here and then you would argue that all of this here, that's all you're using from your screen and then if you look at the rest, it's totally empty. I know you're trying to tell a story that he's looking this way and that something's going on, but this is just a crazy composition. I mean, that it would be at least here. And again, if the screen was only maybe this wide, uh, he could be around here. Like that to me would be a healthier composition. So that's the first thing that I, that I noticed when you start, that you're extremely left heavy. And then as you continue, it, it's for a long time. You're halfway, right? My, my scroller is here, my scrubber. So halfway into the shot, we're still here. So you still haven't utilized this at all in any way. And then as you continue, now we're finally getting into kind of a balanced composition. And we are over two thirds, like three quarter into the shot. And by the time you end it, you're here, which we're left again with a crazy amount of left screen space. So you might be better off having this guy around here and then you take your camera and then you just kind of, you pan over. Don't translate. I mean, it's just a lot of translate movement. I think you'd be fine with just rotating, panning over. So that's the first thing when I saw it. Uh, the other thing is he comes in, which I like. I like that. I like that walk kind of stops. I'm not sure. You might also have a really wide lens. It feels like when he comes in, like there are moments where he kind of feels tilted over this way. Even here, there's something that feels like he's tilted this way. It might just be, given this bend of the tree, it might be the lens that gives you almost like a fisheye lens. Like even here, it feels like straight, but then there's a lot of tilting over this way. So check your lens. I don't know if it's a below 35. If you're now not on a, on a 25, a 20 lens, I don't know. On your FOV. So... But he comes in, what I like the walk, looks over there, and then he gets, then he go kind of out of the character. So he comes in, settles, like, eh, what's going on here? And then as he turns, this is a bit too animated, where he like he leans over to anticipate, comes over, and that's kind of a subtle wiggle, and that feels a bit too animated, where like you're adding the principles, and it's not really that character driven. Does that? And then we kind of look, and he, the thing is, I don't quite understand the thought process here. He stands there, so I'm assuming, well, maybe he heard something over here. And then he looks up, so I'm assuming, well, something, something should be happening here, right? And then he suddenly he starts walking, kind of a sneak. And then it gets a bit bigger, and then it gets animation-wise very slow. I think after this point, you got to ramp it up and make it a lot faster. But then he gets into this throws it and then also that settle is too slow it is this would be throw pa boom boom like you need a couple more steps for all that momentum i will bam one more step here and then the other leg here so he would end up around here but again he was looking up here right but everything is happening over here so i'm not quite uh, sure what this acting choice was for him to look up so that would be that would be my impression on this shot. Composition's a bit off. 
So if you want to do, if I check your mail, right, you're mentioning uh, body mechanic exercise, trying to show some personality and character with a little storytelling too. Um, if you want to make this a bit more complex, imagine, right, this guy, this guy will be here. This is your beginning, actually. He's here and he's walking over this way. He walks and walks, walks and stops. So he ends up maybe here. And then imagine he does kind of a... He keeps looking at his chin, just your animation completely. I'm just throwing out ideas. He's there and he, and it, it's a bigger... Uh, like he stands and it's a bigger... It's a bigger head turn. It's because it's like he's looking and goes, Oh, what's that? So there's a bigger... I saw something which makes him, so he stands around here, which makes him kind of jump tippy-toe over here, goes behind the tree, so we lose him, and the audience goes, oh, where is he, what's going to happen? Then he kind of peeks out here, right? He would have just his head here, his arm could be holding the tree looking, and then he has a bigger take, knowing that there's something over here, and then he starts his, his tippy-toe run, throw the, uh, the spear over this way. That would be something a bit more interesting since you have the trees, right? Because right now you're not using the trees at all. It's cool to have a certain set, you know, it's not just an empty background. But it would be interesting to use this where he goes around the tree and comes back out just to use the space a bit more, the depth. Um, that would be something. And then during all his moments where he turns and sees something, bigger bigger moments where he turns and maybe he, like he goes like this or he does that or looks like this or leans forward a couple moments where we can tell he's not sure what's going on and then you need a moment of oh this is what I wanted so he looks and goes oh, like this maybe you look around and then now this is what I got to do so a couple moments of him realizing or trying to find what's going on and then realizing oh now I can kill that creature and move forward with that so again you're just moving basically here and in here well actually here sorry this is your plane. This is your plane of movement. So if I make this clean here and then here, this is your plane of movement. Go here and all of this up to here. So it would be to me a bit more interesting if you come out this way, wait a bit, go around, come around here and then this way. At least that. Um, or you have this and you make it crazy and this is your your beginning of the shot, right? So we don't really see this. You cut the composition, right? So you cut all this off. This is your the non-red area. This is all you see, and maybe he comes in from from here, and then he kind of he has his spear on his back, right? So he kind of crawls down, looks around, sees something, jumps down, boom, and then sneaks and then shoots the guy again. This is a totally different animation, but since you have the trees and he seems to be a native some forest, some jungle, you know, some tribe. What if that's what he's used to? He's used to climb on trees and maybe he can have a little tick, 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 goes around, jumps off. I don't know, like something where you can use, again, the depth, where you want to go in and out of the scene and potentially use the trees. I don't know. Something just as, a, as an idea, throwing it out there. That is it. Let me know what you think. All right? Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.